G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going again with the black cell activator, but I've changed to my golden carbon black. It's really quite thin, so I've gone two parts blood troll to one part black, and hopefully that will be all right. It's much thinner than the Amsterdam. So let's try that and we'll get started. I scraped that other one, as you can see, so I'm just gonna pour the white pillow paint over the top of this tile. I'm gonna to have to go and get some more pillow paint. I'm nearly out. And while I'm down there at Bunnings, I'll grab some more float troll as well. Keep me going for a little while. Righto, I've changed the colours up just a touch. Let's go with some turquoise. I'm going to put a little bit less paint on this time. And just see if I can get the cell activated to actually spread over the top of the paint. Maybe I'm using too much paint. A little bit of lilac. And some of this reddish orange. They were all... Joe Sonia's paints, except for the cell activator. Um, I haven't actually got black in Joe Sonia's, but we'll see how the golden goes first because I've got that. A little bit of turquoise. Okay, here's the black. A little bit, not too much, just a little bit. Oops, it's starting to sink. Let's go. Can't really see what I'm doing. There we go. Now I've got it. Need to really spread that black out. See when it opens up, that's when you get your cells. So this I'm going to have to tip off. Even that was a little bit much of the black. But yeah, when you spread it, that's where you get your cells on the outside there. Um, yeah, didn't do too well with that. Oh, look, this is my fourth pour this morning. Fifth, actually, because I scraped a couple that you haven't seen. I'm getting tired. I need to go and have a sit down. <laughs> but I wanted to see how the carbon black went as opposed to the Amsterdam lamp black. That did not work at all. No, it did not work at all. Right, let's just... Get this moving. Middle's still stuck a little bit. So we'll just keep tilting until the middle loosens up. There it goes. And we'll tip off that icky corner first. Probably wasn't my best idea putting orange and turquoise together because I know they don't work, but I just wanted to see what the black would do. So I'm just rushing now. I shouldn't I shouldn't pour when I'm rushed and frustrated because I've scraped a few, it just wasn't working with the black. So I was getting frustrated. Should have just taken a breath, gone and sat down, had a coffee, and then come back, try it again. See, this is all over stretching now because I didn't put as much paint on as I usually do. Mind you, that was that section that I didn't blow very well either, wasn't it? So. Yeah, that was my fault. I just didn't blow it very well. Okay, let's go off to the other corner. I'm just curious to see what the black's going to do. Off it goes. It's like watching paint dry, isn't it? Mm. 
going to bring it back. I haven't got a, enough paint on the surface. To, um, to work properly. Okay, that's, that's just not going to work. Not enough paint. Let's scrape that. And we'll go again real quick. Find some better colours. Um, pillow paint. Okay, here we go. Let's pour some more pillow on. I'm thinking that black was a little bit too thin still. I'm just trying to work out how I can thicken it. I add more flow troll or add more paint. Um, the paint, it just drips out like that. The flow troll drips out like that. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put a little bit more paint in, I guess, just to see. Let's give it another squirt. I don't even know how much was in there, just a squirt. I think they're very similar actually in consistency. So I don't think it's going to really change a lot. Righto, uh, what colours look nice with black? Let's try some pink first and I'm going to put more, more down this time. And some purple. We'll go light dark, light dark. I won't put any orange in it this time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, do I want some yellow? Let's just do minimal. Let's just go for the sake of things. Let's just do those three colours. Let's do our black. I'll put a little bit more on this time. Kind of spread it. Okay, there we go. All right, wish me luck. Here we go. In, it's not. It's not spreading. It's not spreading. have to get a little bit closer obviously I think that was quite a lot of black there looks <laughs> look how far it's spreading I think that was way too much black Obviously goes a long way. Now because I've got so much black in the middle, when I tilt, um, I'm going to lose my petals. Another lesson learnt. Don't put too much black in the middle. She touched the paint with my nozzle then I couldn't see what I was doing. Way too much paint you guys. Another lesson learnt, hey? Okay, <clears throat> let's leave it at that. Way too much black in the middle. Okay, so we need a tiny little bit of black in the middle. Otherwise, it spreads to the edges. And then when I tilt, I'm going to lose all the edges. I'm going to have a big black centre. So not too much black in the middle. See, I'm learning. I am learning. Getting a bit frustrated today, but I am learning. Okay, here we go. 
now because <laughs> I've gone so deep in the middle, my black center doesn't really want to move. All right, now it's moving. You can see how it's starting to move. Get rid of some of that and come back. Keep the petals that have got lots of lacing on them and get rid of the ones that don't have much at all on them. And keep that white corner because it's got really pretty lacing there. I'm going to try and get rid of some of that that's a little bit overstretched. Yeah, so way too much black in the middle. But looks like the golden is working really well. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to have to get rid of that down there because I love that top bit on the, well, on the side there. So that needs to stay. If I can, keep it. Come back. And see if I can get rid of that muddiness off the bottom there. I'm losing a lot of my lacing though on the sides, but let's see what happens when I get it back to the center. But, you know, you've learned something too with me. Don't put so much black in the middle. Because then when I, you know, I blew the black out and um, I had to blow it too far to get a good covering. So all my good lacing and cells were on the edges. And then I couldn't really stretch very far because I was tipping all the good stuff off. Does that make sense? Right now, I'm happy with my corners. I'm just going to bring this back. It looks as if we're going to have a big black center. <laughs> oh dear. But hey, I've learned something today. Again, this golden black works really well. So I'll use that again. I'm going to go off this corner. I've got plenty of paint so I can actually stretch it a little bit further and get that stripey off the bottom there. Just bring the paint in front of the stripes though so that you're taking it, the weight of the paint to where it needs to go. Might stop at the white. Let's have a little bit of white on that very tip. And back again. And hopefully that will stretch out those cells on the corner that have gone a little bit elongated. I can kind of stretch them back the opposite way. I hope I'm still in frame. I can't tell. So too much paint and too much CA. this one and I need to change my puppy petal pad because it's pretty saturated now with paint look at all that 
All right. Um, <clears throat> mm, it's okay. It's not wonderful. It's it's okay. I don't seem to be able to get a good painting with the with the black. All right. I'm just, while I'm still really grubby, I'm just going to go again over the top with less paint this time. All right. Here we go. And this is going to be it because I need a coffee. I'm getting grumpy. <laughs> Don't want to see a grumpy Julie. Um, what will we use? Where's my where's my dioxazine? Let's go with the dioxazine. You know, I'm getting paint all over my little bottles. Little bit of paint. Little bit of paint. And then we'll go with the turquoise. And then the little bit of pink, not very much. And then a little bit of black. And let's blow that real quick before it sinks. It just doesn't act the same way as the white does. I can't spread it as easily. I need to go more straight down with the black rather than across. Straight down but moving forward is what I'm doing. Straight down and very slowly pushing it out. Alright, I'm going to leave it that like that. Still a lot of black, hey? <clears throat> Maybe the black's just not my thing. But yeah, less paint this time and less black. And we'll see if that will work better for me. Again, loosen up your middle until it all flows together and then you can start tilting I just do little tilts back and forth. Instead of doing one big tilt at, the, at a time. It's slippery. <laughs> I've got a purple corner now because that was underneath. back still looks like I've got a heap of paint on here eh Yeah, really struggling with this black. I don't know why. Just don't know why. But 
I am just about done. Bring that back into the middle. Actually, I don't like that corner down there with that. It's kind of gone grey. I think I'll just stick to the white. <laughs> I've had much more success with the white CA. I think the black's still too thin because I can't thicken it up. But because the golden is so thin, it's a fluid paint, and Floetrol is about the same thickness, I can't actually I can't thicken it up. So it's not keeping the, the lacing. They kind of all kind of, you know when you do flip cut pores and your mix is too thin and they all kind of bump into each other, the cells, they're not holding their own. It's because the CA is too thin. So, um, I guess I'm gonna have to find some black that, that works. The golden for me doesn't work. The Amsterdam lamp black didn't work. Oops, oh, there's a chair. My little stairs are getting really quite squeaky, aren't they? Okay. Um, yeah. I haven't got a lot to say about it, but again, I've learnt uh, cell activator is way too thin. So my cells just have not stayed in place. Righto. Um, now I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm going to go and have a cuppa. I'll see you all soon. I hope you've learnt something. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.